More than a sixth of Denmark's population live in and around Aarhus, and it's not hard to see why. The pace of life is, well, not exactly 100 miles an hour, but it's life in the fast lane for the eight nations left in the Thomas Cup. Knock out badminton from here on in. The semis are just around the corner. A very warm welcome to Aarhus for our continuing coverage of the Thomas and Uber Cup. These are the nations originally competing here from right across the globe. Asia, Africa you see with Egypt and Algeria, plenty of European countries involved, all the way across to Canada there in North America and Tahiti as well. This is the Sales Arena. We're down to two courts now. Here's how the Thomas Cup groups panned out. The big names to the four. Chinese Taipei with the big casualties in Group A. Indonesia and Thailand going through. Denmark and Korea advancing from Group B. No surprises in Group C. China and India are through to the quarters. And Japan and Malaysia at the expense of Canada in that three-team Group D. Well, here's how the draw was panned out. Uh, you can see it's fascinating. Indonesia and Malaysia will play the winners of Denmark against India. And we're concentrating this morning on the other side of the draw. Korea versus Japan is our match coming up momentarily. The winners will face either Thailand or China. Well, here's our schedule for today. It's Korea versus Japan. Uh, that's coming up very shortly. And then we'll stick with the Thomas Cup for another quarter final at 1.30. Jill Clark takes you through Denmark against India. And then we switch to the women later. And that actually now is a semi-final. Japan versus Korea for a place in the final. That's live at seven. This was the Korean huddle a little earlier. We pre-recorded. They all look very happy with that. What a battle this will be. Two nations steeped in badminton history coming head to head for a place in the last four. Well, a little earlier, we sent our cameraman courtside to capture the Japanese huddle. Well, whether they'll be number one on Sunday afternoon, that remains to be seen. What a match for starters. World number one, Kento Momota, hoping revenge is a dish best served cold. Yo Kwang Hee beat him at the Olympics. Then we've a mouth-watering doubles between two pairs ranked in the world's top 20, as Choi and Seo clash head-on with Hoki and Kobayashi. Second singles after that, Jeon Hyuk Jin and Kanto Suniyama have both been around the badminton block, but this is their first ever meeting. Then, if required, the second doubles, Koga and Watanabe will start big favourites against Kang and Kim. They're ranked outside the top 100. And if the score does go to all, the final singles will decide it. So pressure heaped on Cho and Nishimoto if we get that far. Well, this is an absolutely mouth-watering opener, isn't it? Yo Kwang Hee against the world number one the motto who by his own admission has been a little out of sorts of late against the man who ended his dreams effectively in Tokyo just a couple of months ago. And here is Hyo Kwang Hee. I don't think we should read too much into his world ranking of 33. We all know what he's capable of on his day. Well, he's acknowledging the huge support he's got in the Ceres Arena here. Terrific atmosphere, considering it's only half past eight in the morning. Local time in Denmark. Just 
just wonderful to have spectators back. I think every sport saying that. It is 3-1 on Motta overall, but look at that last result. 21-15, 21-19 at the Olympics, and that is going to be at the forefront, you would think, of Ken Temamotta's mind here. First meeting since then. Does this man have the evil eye over the world's number one? Wait to see a load of youngsters in this tournament because it's got to be better than school. <laughs> 26 years of age, uh, Hyoko, he lives in Seoul. He was actually the junior world champion way back in 2013. Yet to win a major event to the final of the Chinese Taipei Open a couple of years back and lost in the final. Well to Axelson in just half an hour. Didn't play in the uh, first group stage match. So Kento Mamata, 27 years of age, twice world champion in 2018 and 2019. He's got a Thomas Cup gold from 2014. That's the only time that Japan have made the final and they won it. Last tournament win was the Malaysian Masters last year when he beat Victor Axelson in straight games. We had that real battle with uh, Li Xingjia that's the only match he's played so far on that. Just wonder about that. Man in charge for this one is Henrik Barris of Denmark. And he will be assisted by Indonesian service judge, Kuomaral Leili. There she is. So just Mamota's second match, having come through 23-21 in the third in his previous effort against Li Zijia. Of Malaysia. First rally is a glimpse of what they're going to be in for over the next uh, hour or maybe even longer. It should be well worth watching. You know, it's going to make it very, very tough. It's really going to make the motto work for every point you suspect in this match. 32 shot rally for starters. Oh. 
Mourinho getting a test out. Lamotta's legs. He played a similar shot in the first rally, which Lamotta just about got to. He can reach that. Nicely floated to the back of the court by the Korean. He knows already, if he didn't know before, that he's in for a serious battle here, Mamata. There's a statement of intent. And a couple of wins in the event already. Here, Queen He against Vizkirchen and Popov, Germany and France, respectively, before going down to Axelsen. With absolutely no disgrace in that. So first time we'll see Hawkeye on court one today. Each player has two challenges per game, uh, per game and if they uh, are correct, they will keep them. <laughs> How close was that? That's when you really feel for a line judge. <laughs> Seeing that one time at speed with the naked eye. Good luck. That's why we have Hawkeye system. Well, Mota can't afford to let uh, Hio get away on the scoreboard here, he'll know that. Because he's a pretty impressive front runner, we saw that in Tokyo. He didn't give him any encouragement. from the Japanese, as if to say, that's twice you've done me, in the same fashion. Great deception, we have been close to getting there. can expect too many unforced errors like that this morning. This has been a very impressive start. And thoroughly appreciated by his Korean teammates. Must have been asked some serious questions early on here. <laughs> Missed that one though. But he's clearly come out with a really positive mindset. You know, trying to pressure Mamata right from the get-go.
Might be a few of those energy sapping rallies to come in this encounter, you suspect. from Amata, which will do his confidence a power of good. short of a fan club, the world number one. I mentioned that Japan have only won this event once in 2014. Korea have never won it. Got to a couple of finals in 2012 and four years before that in 2008. Lost both to China. Magnificent shot. Seemed to hang in the air, didn't he, here yeah, when he played that? Doesn't miss many of those. we've seen from the body language this week with Momota and also in the Sudaman Cup too in, in Finland a couple of weeks back. He, he doesn't look 100% happy with his game. Late decision, a good one to play that. But he had the uh, initiative in the rally, Didio, and he's back on level terms after three successive points. Already signs are this could be a bit of an epic here. And so often the opening match can be pivotal in the tie. Just sets the tone. Absolute treat for those who've got up early to be here. This, uh, well, I'm not sure it's disrespectful to some of the other countries to say this looks the standout for the final. Another error from the motto, so a two point lead for Kyo as they go to the mid game interval. Five straight points.
just outfought him as well as outplayed him in that rally. This is terrific stuff from Hugh. Really is. need that after a run of six successive points that he lost he was willing that shuttle into the net well, there's the trophy used in London cost around 40,000 uh, US dollars 28 inches high most important trophy in team badminton Japanese did to Kyo what the Korean stunned to him on several occasions already this morning. Almost did the splits there, Kyo's really wide stance. No wonder he couldn't get there. really wasn't it for Hio, that range a bit of a nothing shot from the motto rally to have seen where the motto was able to manipulate Hio's position around the court a little bit. Always in the ascendancy in that exchange.
to this opening game on a knife edge here at 14 all. Halfway through the shot, Keogh knew what was going to happen there, but he was pretty much committed to it. Very, very quick to get on the end of it, though. No matter, an easy kill. Glimpses of the old Bermotta coming through. Well, probably not old Bermotta, would be not, not really fair. Vintage Bermotta, more like it. He's clearly still fighting a few demons inside himself. But such is the talent. He's eked out a small lead as we get towards the business end of this opening game. Long though. of errors, that was a hard, hard rally from a Motta's point of view. From that range, you'd expect him to land that. He was just wide. And a great opportunity here then for Hyo. Almost like he saw inside the motor's head there, knew exactly what was coming. 16, 16. How quickly he was onto that. Uh, lift which took a bit of the pace off it therefore the depth and made it a fairly easy kill and just a couple of points away now Pio from securing this opening game
see how hard Lamont is having to work to win a point. Full stretch, but not quite enough. And here are three game points for Hia Kwang He. 20, game point, 20. How's your nerves, Hugh? Brilliant under that kind of pressure, particularly. Two game points saved. One more chance for Hio to get the job done here. Oh, he's done it at the third time of asking. 21 19. And Mamata silenced by the world number 33. Hyo Kwang He continues, so far at least, to be his nemesis. だから、
지금 울적이 이렇게 넣었단 말이야. 엄청 멋있게 정말 잘 썼습니다. 이렇게 때려도 갔다가 왜 울적이 준비 했다. 그리고 또 나도 가져와. 나도 그래. 나 혼자 있잖아. Here, trying to get the job, the job done in straight games, exactly as he did at the Olympics. Straight away, Moffa's arm was raised, inviting Hawkeye to check the accuracy of this call. Excellent challenge. of how Momota still looks a little out of sorts. Yeah, I think Momota knew he was in trouble before that shuffle even landed. Uh, he showed in Tokyo, I mean, he's excellent under pressure. So Mimosa's going to have to get himself out of this jam on his own rather than expecting unforced errors from his opponent. You know, challenging here. Mimosa's shot called in. These line judges eat carrots so there. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you know. Search over three, two, play. literally and metaphorically in that rally. for it now. It really has. And he showed in the first game that he's more than capable of going on a run of points and momentum such a crucial element in this game. It was past 
a monster before he could do anything about it. too hard. Clearly not himself. To see it from the body language. And that's the problem. When you've reached a, a certain level, such a high level, suddenly can't reproduce it. Starts to really play on your mind. It affects everything. And that's pretty much what's happening with the motto at the moment. Yoquan, he is not a player you would expect to let him off the hook once he thinks he's going to the ascendancy, and he certainly is at the moment. And again, a four point lead. Eight. Eight. Looks to have a certain sense of fragility at the moment, Omoto. Desperately needed that point. Five, eight. Stops the rock, but still an awful lot of work to do. He's going to get back into this. of the net on the way over, it was going to be a very straightforward put away for Lamotta. So good fight back, three points in a row from the Japanese. Well that's a tame one from here.
When you make the decision as late as that, very rarely pays off. So six successive points for the world number one has rather turned the second game on its head. From a scenario where Yo looked to be really in the ascendancy, it's all changed. Just a bizarre game this, isn't it? Points being won in clusters by both players. And the upshot is we're a point away from the interval at 10 all. Well done, that was phenomenal anticipation from Hyo. And he has the narrow advantage, 11-10 as they go for the mid-game interval. I'm going to be just poor Mamata moving across court in the corner of his eye there. Well, Judge Lee.
Well, Gio's turn to go on a little mini charge here. Just lost his mojo, hasn't he, Mamota? And not a good time to lose it. I don't think he ever genuinely thought that, that was going to uh, get reversed. Yeah, that's the best of Mamota. As I said a few minutes ago, he knows he's going to have to win this himself. He just can't rely on you know, tightening up on the other side of a net because that's not going to happen almost certainly. That was much more proactive from the Japanese. With about three minds here, wasn't he, Hyo? Went to leave it or play it. Giving those kind of opportunities for these. He's going to grab them with both hands. 16, right in the hitting zone. Over the net at the perfect height. For Hio to come in and make the kill. <laughs> a little bit of help from the tape there for the motor. Just took even more pace off the shuffle. Actually rolled down the net on the Hyo side. No chance. The Korean.
Well, four more of those would do nicely for him. One point at a time. Try and earn a second successive victory over the world number one. And this time, doing it for his country as well as for himself. Second and final challenge for Mamata, unless uh, he's right. Is this desperation stake stuff? Oh no, it wasn't. It was a, a very good challenge. And how important might this be? I'm not sure if that was Hio trying to kind of influence the line judge giving it the fist pump literally the the millisecond that shuttle landed either way through Hawkeye we got the right decision from here he's been brilliant so far in making the Mossa really grind out every point he's won but that was a, an easy one back another nail-biting conclusion just as we had in the opening game and Mossa trying to get on terms here and that's definitely out Lamotta knows it, and he owes a couple of points away from a monumental victory here. get that from a motto but he couldn't do much with that and here are three match points for Hyo Kwang He to take down the world number one He's given Korea a flying start here. What a result. Successive wins over the world number one. He has got the evil eye on Mamata, that's for sure. And totally deserved. 51 minutes to match time. 21-19. 21-17. And Korea edge ahead in the all-important first match of the time really warmly appreciated by the crowd in here in the Ceres Arena. This was the final point and just would not be denied. We know that Momota's game is nowhere near 100%. 
but that's to take nothing away from this man. So, an upset, and it means that Japan are playing catch-up as we go into the first of the doubles coming up shortly. Choi and Sio taking on Takuro Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi. That's next. What a warm welcome back to Aarhus. What a magical city this is. It's had a real period of rapid growth over the last 40 years or so. Unprecedented building boom, and it's still maintained its charm on the eastern shore of Jutland. Absolutely 